An addict coming off years of substance abuse may wonder, how can I boost my dopamine? How can I get that great dopamine feeling in a natural way? That's a good question because we are meant to seek the good feeling of dopamine. That's what motivates our survival behaviors. But you may wonder, well, my brain has been through a lot and my dopamine is low. How can I get it back up? Here are two strategies that I know will work, even if you're worried about whatever you've done in the past. Those strategies are goals and variety. So your brain is designed to seek goals and variety and to give you little bursts of dopamine when you step toward a goal and when you see something different. Now, you may say, well, how can I get goals and variety in my life? It's so complicated, blah, blah, blah. Here's some very simple ways. If you say, someday I'm going to get it all together, you don't get any dopamine. But if you say, today, I'm going to clear off this one square foot of space on my desk, you will feel so great when you get it done. So choosing a goal that you can reach feels good. Now, when you want to have a bigger goal, if you take a step toward it every day, that will feel good. Now, variety, let's talk about that. When I say variety, I don't mean a variety of pizza toppings or a variety of lovers. Because if you're always going after that, then it's not really variety. So your brain is looking for new inputs that could lead to progress toward new goals. Now you may think, well, I don't have time for variety and it's risky and whatever, but you will find a way to give yourself variety. You could drive to work in a new way. You can exercise in a different way. And of course, a variety of goals is important. So give yourself long-term goals and short-term goals and medium-term goals and make sure you take steps toward the goal. So make them realistic goals and feel good about the steps that you take. So then you'll have more dopamine, but you may have figured out there's a little problem. Your brain only gives you a little bit of dopamine at a time and then it stops. And then you have to take another step to get more dopamine. This is frustrating, but this is how it is for everybody alive. It's how it always was for humans and it's how it is for monkeys. 